Hello, everybody, and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael, and today's just going to be a short little um, spotlight video. As this is not a theme park in the game, this is somebody who created a circus. So it's very unique. I haven't seen this made in the game. I've seen like fun fair parks, but I've never seen somebody go all out and make an actual circus. Um, so this is really cool. And it's created, it's called Circus Runcali, and it's created by Armin underscore 26 underscore. And when I first saw this, my thought was, I feel like there could be more detail on the exterior, but this is actually at the PS4 limit, and you'll see why as we take a look in a little bit more detail. Um, you know, I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of circuses, as I never really went to them growing up. Um, but this is a really, really cool, just kind of basic build. Okay, I say basic, and what I mean by basic is it's not creating a theme park, it's not using a ton of you know, maybe a whole map, but it's doing something unique. And so as we see here, we've got the entryway to Roncalli, and there's no actual attractions in here, so there's no way for the guests to actually access it, even though we do have stalls. But here would be kind of the entrance, or maybe it's just the park's not open, so guests are not entering. we got a little entrance area with some stalls and where you can get food and drinks. And we'll go in there in a second because that is the... the prime attraction but we've got all these kind of um you know maintenance trucks different things like that i love just the detail of using the the cords or the electric cables to kind of hold up this tent and he did say in the description that you guys can use this tent but make sure to credit him with it um, because this is i mean you'll see in a second this is just amazing and you know using this little little area for food over here so if you want to see what this is made of Extra small rectangles all the way around. So that is 564 pieces for for just that one. <laughs> that is that's phenomenal. Um, really, really, really good job. That is really, really cool. And so you know, under here we got little food uh, food snacks or food, wow, I can't speak. Food shop. So here's what I like. At first, my first thought was, why is it elevated off the ground like that? But this makes sense because you've got it with a little trailer hitch. Like these are places that are almost like food trucks. Like they're hitched to a trailer almost that you can then drive. And yeah, so we can see we got wheels here. There would be wheels here, except we have to have that little path piece just because of how the game works. Uh, but you can see the wheel right there. So really, really nice touch. Now we're going to save the best attraction for last. But then over here, this is where, in theory, the circus workers would stay while this traveling circus is, is in session. Um, and so you can see a lot of these. Now you might look at this and be like, man, how is that 64% on the PS5, 100% on the PS4? Remember, this is all about piece count. So, for example, if you use that, that's 78 for just that. So if you take all this, all these over here, so, you know, that's 6%, so that's 9% on the PlayStation 4, just by having that, roughly. Um, but here's what really eats it up. So, obviously, you've got these tents, which this is really... Oh, it's like a little horse stable and stuff. Oh, this is cute. That is cool. Okay. Um, each one of these, man, this is a... That's 13, so that's good. But then each of these little trailer things... 434 pieces for just one of those. So if you count all these. Whew, so you got about 30% right there just on these little um, little trailers for the employees of the circus to, to stay in. But that is a really, really cool touch though. And then we've got the other tents here, which this is where you got some trucks kind of dropping stuff off. So that's a really cool touch. We got a little shoreline here that people can kind of sit out here on, which I do think if this was, uh, if the creator had a PS5, it probably would have more detail kind of around it. But now for the, actually, let's look at nighttime real quick. So for the main attraction, look at this. I mean, okay, we're gonna we gotta get the HUD off the screen here. This is astounding. 
You got the acrobats. We've got all these chairs. We've got the multi-level seating. Looks like uh, um, pavement pieces there. All the speakers. This is honestly incredible. This like reminds me, this level of detail here reminds me of NH99's Planko Frontierland and his kind of dining um, restaurant and or dinner and show type place. But this is awesome. So then if we turn back to daytime. So you can kind of get a better view and see how this is created. This is amazing. Wow. Really, really cool. Um, so yeah, and then as we look here, this is once again just using basic shapes. So that each one of those pieces represents... Um, let's see how many pieces there are in here. Actually, not as many pieces as I thought there would be. Hmm, I figured there'd be more, but I guess made it within a blueprint size. Um, but either way, that's really impressive to only use that many pieces. And so here's where the entertainers would enter from back here. Um, so that is, that's really cool. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, this is a shorter video because it's not a full park. It's more just, you got this little circus tent. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for all your support and everything you guys do. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And make sure to go check this out in the workshop. Have a great rest of your day.